I'm T60. Steve, y'all. I want you to stay tuned for the best American music acts around. I call it hollers, stompers, and old time ramblers. It's my kind of people. <laughs> What really excites us is music from the 20s up into the, the late 30s. It's kind of the soundtrack to, to where I'm from. I think it was music that kept people entertained. I think it was music that helped people make sense of their lives. Like where I grew up, uh, we very poor people, and it became kind of a medicine for me. I was able to like get out and dance every once in a while. Most of the uh, songs that I write is like a bad things which have happened to me. I get when I hear all stuff, that's uh, something that gets me going. Old time music and punk rock have a huge connection. So many of my contemporaries came from the punk rock scene or the indie rock scene. We used to say vaudevillian, ragtime, jug band blues, and hillbilly swing, uh, but we feel like that's a little bit limiting. Captain got a water berry. Oh Lord, he can't keep time. Yeah, my captain got a water berry. Yeah, I swear he can't keep no Can I drive him? You gone stone blind. You gone stone blind. You gone stone blind. How can I?
I want to welcome you here to the Folk America. This is called Hollers and Stompers and Old Time Rammers. I'm not sure which one any one of them is, but uh, it's all right. You know, when they asked me to come here, I to sit on a stage and uh, introduce the people. I, I said, uh, they asked me what I wanted to be on the stage. I said, well, I'll just bring the stuff from my house. <laughs> so this is, this is my chair. I bought it in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. This is my radio. I bought that at a junk store in Murfreesboro. This is my telephone. I bought it at a junk store in Franklin. This is my clothes. <laughs> That's my bedspread. So I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> the first uh, group of people going to come on and play for y'all is this uh, gal named Allison Williams. And she kind of started like in the punk world, and, but all of a sudden, she's from Arkansas, so she had that deep thing, but she kind of all of a sudden, years later, started thinking that uh, the old time music was something that touched her more. So uh, she played like the claw hammer banjo. So, and then this Chance McCoy coming out, he's from West Virginia. He only been playing the banjo, I think he told me like five and a half years, and he's like a, the champion, one of the champions for West Virginia banjo playing. <laughs> this boy can play, or fiddle playing, I'm not talking about banjo, that a girl played a banjo. And then they got some friends with them who come, they kind of put a special group together for this, and uh, Amy Curl's going to play the bass, and Danny Nice is going to play the guitar, so I appreciate you put your hands together and welcome them up. Danny Nicely. 
This is a tune called Wild Bill Jones. This is an old, this is a very old tune, and this is a song that they just don't write them like this anymore. All right. As I now just to walk about, I came upon that Wild Bill Jones. He was walking down and talking about my true love side. And I told him, leave her alone. Well, he said, my engine is 21, too old to be controlled. I drew my ball from my side, not in struggle, that poor boy's soul. And it's best around with no name, but let me walk out on the street. But it was the last of that wild Bill Jones, tomorrow be the last of me. lucky tonight hearing that stuff I think Ooh we I'm lucky too you know all these young people keeping this thing alive whether it's blues or country bluegrass or whatever it is it's the only way the thing keep going so I didn't totally know that all this was happening in America no more the young folks was like picking it all up and so I, I I'm real happy about that uh, the next fella uh, uh, I heard about through Charlie Gillett who's one of your great uh, DJs here and supporter of music all over the world. And he told me one time, oh, you got to check this fellow out named C.W. Stone King. He like, <laughs> this boy is lost in the 1920s and 30s. He, he not kind of, but he really lost. <laughs> C.W.'s parents is from America, but he actually grew up in Australia. And I think he kind of called his music sort of hokum blues and some kind of jazzy kind of thing like that. But anyway, his music is going to talk to you good enough. So if you could welcome C.W. Stone King, it's all good. Thank you. 
song on the banjo. Fit in with all these uh, hillbilly songs. I lived in New Orleans for a while. Um, <clears throat> I was working in a hoodoo doctor's office, actually. Come to find out about all manner of things uh, which a person can get. Uh, one of the best ones I ever heard of, well, the best name, was a thing called a love me or die, which is a type of love charm that you get if you, I don't know, I guess you must kind of like the person, but not too much, because it sort of makes them get sick, and then you're supposed to take care of them. Somewhere along the line, they love you or die, <laughs> I guess. So uh, this is like a, what you call is a, a jungle calypso murder ballad. <laughs> I can't deny 
got the good seat. <laughs> I forgot to show you one thing. I got this in uh, uh, Murfreesboro, but I put the patches on. My wife don't like them, but uh, this is my chance to show them off. <laughs> and when I do a patch, I always tie the string at the end so it don't, the girls know that, but men is dumb like that. But I know how to put a patch on. The next uh, uh, fella coming up here, his name is Cedric Watson. He's from San Felipe, Texas. And he played like uh, Creole and Zydeco. And he played like, it's traditional, but they do it their own way. And uh, uh, they got, uh, uh, I saw them up here earlier, and uh, the Creole, Bujo Creole, or I'm not exactly sure how to say the name, but they was, they was rocking, and they're going to rock you now. Welcome, Cedric Watson.
We're gonna do a little something, uh, what we like to call jure. Now jure is, uh, it has a lot, it's where the um, rhythm of this music, a lot of it is influenced by jure music, which um, is really influenced a lot by African music because jure music came from the African American Creole population of Louisiana. And a lot of people didn't, they couldn't afford accordions, they couldn't afford guitars and fiddles, so they stomped their feet and clapped their hands. And that's one of the first things that any music lover is gonna do whenever he starts, you know, play the air fiddle, air guitar, he's gonna stump his feet and sing to himself, right? Well, that's what this is all about. So, uh, yeah, ball. Hey, my mom, and don't know, hey, mom is at go. Hey, my mom is at go, it's a Hey, my mom is at go, it's a Hey, mom, me don't know, mom is at go. Hey, my mom is at go, it's a Yari and don't show ya. Hey, my mom is at go, it's a Hey, my mom, go, my mom. Hey, my mom is at go, it's a Hey, my mom is at go, it's a Hey, my mom is at go, it's a Moi, j'ai dit tout le pays. Avec mon jour, ce plambo, j'ai demandé à ton papa pour qu'un piace, il m'a donné seulement quelque chose. Hey, il y a, il m'a donné moi mes haricots, maman. Hey, maman, mes haricots, il passe à l'air. Hey, il y a, mais comment je vais faire? Hey, maman, mes haricots, il passe à l'air. Comment tu veux tu fais quoi? Pour mon chapeau rouge, j'ai fini. Et comment tu veux tu fais quoi? Pour mon site est tout déchiré. Et il y a, il m'a donné mon mes haricots. Et mon maman, mes haricots est pas salé. Oh, il y a, mes haricots est pas salé. Et mon maman, mes haricots est pas salé. Hey, maman, donne mon mes haricots, maman. Et mon maman, mes haricots est pas salé. Oh, il y a, mes haricots est pas salé. Et mon maman, mes haricots est pas salé.
Zarikos on passa de bebê, Zarikos on passa de moné, Pode pitar jean moné, Zarikos on passa de catê. Gals coming up here, her name is Diana Jones, and uh, I read the little thing. I had never heard a lot of these people, you know, I didn't get a chance to hear them before, and it said uh, kind of lonesome Appalachian music, and I was like, okay, I sound good to me. And when they was here earlier rehearsing, I, I was sitting out there, and uh, boy, this girl, she, uh, she brought the silence to me, so uh, it was uh, something else. But anyway, uh, you, you, uh, you give them all a big welcome. Diana Jones. Thank you. If I had a gun, I'd wipe it clean. My fingerprints off on these sheets. They bury you in the cold, hard ground, fist full of dirt would hold you down they'd bury you in the cold hard ground be the first night i sleep sound Be the first night 
I had a gun, I'd drive away, I'd drive away, I'd drive away. Thank you. Henry Russell moved from Scotland to the coal mining area in West Virginia. He got a job there and sent for his wife Mary, and before he did, he wrote her beautiful love letters, and I was lucky enough to meet his daughter, who's now in her 80s, and read some of these letters. And in every letter that he wrote, he wrote the line, Oh, how I love you, Mary. He sent for Mary, Mary came, they had three children, um, and in 1927, Henry was killed in a mining disaster that took 111 men. He was trapped in a room for three hours, and he chose to write a love letter to Mary in those three hours, his last love letter, and this song is based on that letter. Still alive, but the air is getting bad. Oh, how I love you, Mary. I have made my peace with God. Meet me in heaven, I'll wait 
for you there. Oh, how I love you, Mary. Oh, how I love you, Mary. Oh, how I love you, Mary. It's a little bit special tonight, don't you think? The next band are going to come up, and they actually sort of is a band. Get my idiot paper. They're called the Wyos. <laughs> and they play all kinds of stuff like country blues and swing, jug band, little hillbilly, little ragtime, act a little vaudeville. A little song and dance, and you in for a surprise. Please welcome the Wilds. Until one day he said that he must go away. There's more work in the Bronx. Yeah. Yeah. He, he said, you know, dear, I love you best of all. Although I think it's best that we part. And as he went away, they heard his sweetheart say, Though it's most broke her heart Some of these days You're gonna need my loving Some of these days You're gonna need my kissing You're gonna need my hugging You're gonna need my kissing You're gonna need my hugging I'm a kissing on some of these days Only I'm a one and only Cause you know I don't die, I don't die, I don't hide my way And when I leave you, when I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna bleed you Oh, love me, please, love me some of these days yeah. Thank you. 
There, there you come, Dan Magnuson. <laughs> Y'all remember Animal and the Muppet Show? That's all I'm gonna say. Down in the south, they got this nasty little bug called a chigger. The chigger live in the high grass. And uh, you get in the high grass and the chigger jump on you and the mama leave a little baby on your leg. And the baby chew on, mama jump off, and then the baby chew on you for a few days, and then the baby leave you. And then you're gonna know about something called itching. <laughs> this ain't no mosquito bite, y'all. This is something you're gonna have for weeks. It just be like, you get little sores all over you. It's nasty. So this song is gonna teach you what to do if you get into chigger territory. And if you don't listen, don't blame me. So I'm gonna say. <laughs> Leave me alone, little chickens. Don't lay your babies on my leg. Leave me alone, little chickens. Of this one thing, Lord, I beg. Hear me beg, y'all. Hear me beg, y'all. I wear my socks up to my knees. They still make a motel out of me. They come with a hot and a muggy. It's so unfair, can't you see? Can't you see, y'all? See y'all. Uh, uh. I wear my socks up to my knees. They still make a motel out of me. Damn corn with a hot and a muggy It's so unfair, can't you see? Can't you see y'all? Can't you see y'all? Can't you see So if you ever get yourself down in the south in the summertime, maybe the high grass, that's chicken territory. So this is what you gotta do. When you get home, take off all your clothes, especially your socks. And then you put them in the washing machine. On the hottest cycle you got, the lobster cycle. And then when you're all naked, I'm just picturing that now. I think I got it. You put yourself in a bathtub. On the hottest you can stand it. Lobster cycle. It's hot water, the only thing gonna kill the chickens. And that's only if you're lucky. And if you're really lucky, and I mean really lucky, they won't eat your life. They won't eat your life. They won't eat your life. I wear my socks up to my knees. They still make a motel out of me. They come with a hot and a muggy. It's so unfair, can't you see? Can't you see y'all. Can't you see y'all. Can't you see y'all.
Good night, huh? You want some more? Yeah! That's a dumb question, Steve. Okay, everybody gonna come back up and uh, do something for you. Come on, all y'all. Nobody home but me I said bring it on down to my house Honey, I need to 
company. Well, I ain't your preacher or your preacher's son, but I'll do some preaching till that preacher comes.